Hey guys, welcome to the Sharon Homestead. I'm Kat and today we are doing another greenhouse tour. This is week six and this is going to be a week of a lot of planting. Um, our last frost date passed and it's been about a week. <laughs> it's been about a week since our last frost date. So I'm finally going to be able to get things in the ground this week and out of the greenhouse and then I actually started a whole bunch more seeds in the house. What are you doing, you silly cat? And so I'm gonna get those in the greenhouse after they sprout under my lamps. I have found that starting seeds in the house under the grow lights and um, just in the house in a very controlled environment is very, quick germinating and they just do so much better than when I start them out here. Now they did do pretty well out here but in my experience, I'm just going based off my own experience, they did a lot better when I started them in the house. Probably because I can check on them very frequently and make sure everything's going good and they have constant light because I keep the lights on 24 seven. So let's see what's growing in the greenhouse and then I'll talk to you about my plans for this week. Okay, so this week there's been a few more of these Moringa trees sprout. Uh, I have one, two, and then a third one back there. So now there's six all together and I'm not losing out on hope on these ones because they're just coming up slowly. Like I said, things in the house sprout really fast and they sprout evenly. These things are just crazy when you put them in the greenhouse. At least in my greenhouse. We'll see, I guess. I don't know. So the lettuce is doing good and the spinach is doing good. And all the okra is doing really good. Look at all that beautiful okra. Mm -hmm. Lily, what do you think of that okra? Um, I don't even know if we're supposed to eat it. To eat okra? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like it, some people do. So, is next is sunflowers and zinnia. Mary's Roma tomatoes. These look curly. They must have oh, they, dried up purple. a little bit. They're purple too. And Mary's sunflowers. Some of these dried up too. I don't know. I really need to get these things in the ground. And all of the loofah. Mm -hmm. Some of it is now starting to trail on the greenhouse. It's time to get this stuff in the garden. <laughs> oh my goodness. And more loofah. This is all sprouting really well, uh, growing new leaves, and it's doing really good. The basil's doing good. I need to split that this week. And the comfrey and the elderberry still haven't sprouted. I don't know what's going on there. I'll probably buy more and plant it straight in the ground. Peppers really are going in the ground probably today. Oh, wow. And irises. Mm -hmm. Irises are doing good. They just need to be planted in the garden, in the front garden. All right, next is crazy. This stuff needs to be split. I need to take it in the house and split it. Um, so this is this is cucamelon. This is yellow squash and zucchini. I'm probably gonna bring that to my dad's house. And then these are all pickling cucumbers. Some of this is going to Angela at Tall Weeds and Rust. She is getting some of that. And possibly, I don't think she wants cucumbers, but we'll see. Anyways, um, and then large zucchini or large cucumbers back here. Like I said, all this needs to be split. It is going crazy in that tray. And what else do we have? We have. Um, the raspberry plants for my dad. I'm probably gonna bring those to his house today. Actually, Kaylin, can you put this, um, put it on that shelf over there. Perfect. And we'll bring that to Oompa's house today. The kids call, call my dad Oompa and my mom Nama. 
That's what my oldest daughter, she named them when she was a little baby. She couldn't say grandpa. She said oompa and it just stuck. So all the kids call them that. What you doing, Tiller? Aww. Are you being a good boy? Yes, you are. Tiller has gotten so big. I can't reckon it's And cold. now we have Swiss chard, lots of it. And I'm happy about that because we actually love Swiss chard a lot. And butterfly flowers. I'm going to get those in the ground probably this week. Or in pots. And then balsam flowers. And these are really pretty. The leaves are coming in. Those are really pretty to me. Oh, Mama, I love those. Come look at this. So the little girls are going to help me with a project. They're going to take these out and put them in that cup and then they're going to dump these flower these um plants into the black uh soil container yeah. they're sticking and i'll show you the rest of what's going on okay so the fig trees are doing good they're going to go in the ground sometime this week we're going to plant all the trees in the back actually i just noticed this is a new bud forming i'm not sure if that is fruit or if it's just another leaf either way i'm happy because all i'm expecting out of these trees this year is to grow no no fruit obviously okay so now we're on to the tomatoes which is absolutely nuts and like i said last week a lot of these actually like half of them are going to angela over at tall weeds and rust so um there's over on this side is um bonnie best tomatoes bonnie best tomatoes and mary's roma tomatoes i'm happy with both of those and their germination rates and their growing rates and everything like that i'm really happy so those are doing really good is this alive what is it i don't know it's that's a um cauliflower plant is it still alive it is still alive do you want to pot it up? Sure. Get a blue cup, fill it with soil, and then put it in the pot. So let's move over to the side of the greenhouse. And these are homestead tomatoes. And these are, all of these are Rutgers tomatoes. So about half of those are going to Angela at Tall Weeds and Rust. <laughs> she wanted a lot of tomatoes this year too, so... We're kind of working together on this one. And we've got my dad's cantaloupe right here. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. And then the rest is kale down the line here. And we've got the cauliflower. Kind of sporadic, but it's growing and it's doing really well. So I'm going to... Those are probably going in the garden this week too. Actually, everything in this greenhouse is probably going in the garden this, year, this week. So, then we've got the broccoli and Brussels sprouts there. Those are still doing good. They need to be split or planted. Probably just planted. Now, we're moving on to my dad's tray. This is going to his house today. I'm going to his house, and I'm going to bring all his plants. And that will be a separate video, planting my dad's garden with him or for him, depending on what he's doing. And the kids just got done with this. So they potted this up. This is a little cauliflower plant. So now this will be Lily's cauliflower plant. Lily and Kaylin. Do we water it every day? Oh yes, water it every day. It's a little baby plant. You have to treat it like a baby. Okay, so we have the yellow squash doing really good. And the watermelon doing really good. The peas are going nuts. They're probably going to start producing soon. <laughs> In the greenhouse, they're going to start producing. He already has some at his house, um, but these are just going to add to it. And awesome, they're already trailing, so they're wrapping around each other. That's going to do really good. We've got the green beans. I'm going to plant more at his house. I'll probably make a teepee there at his house um, in his garden. So Then we've got the cucumbers. They're doing really good. Nice green leaves, new growth, all that. Strawberries never popped up. I wasn't expecting it. And then his tomatoes are doing really good. 
and one has a bug on it. I don't know what kind of bug that was, but the Black Beauty Zucchini kind of struggled, but it might be coming back and doing really good, but I've got him a few other zucchini plants, so that's it for that. And then his cantaloupe was over here, obviously. You remember that? Those are going in his garden today. Now, yeah, let's look at the peppers. So these are bell peppers. These are my dad's bell peppers. I'll give him a few extra, obviously. And this week, the peppers really started getting their true leaves and really growing. Hmm. And that means I need to, that looks like corn. That doesn't even look like a pepper. It's not. That was just a weed. Anyway, that's weird. Um, so all the peppers are doing good. We've got banana. We've got cayenne. We've got Mary's cayenne. And that actually sprouted a lot this week. We're um, calling banana? Banana peppers. Banana peppers. And then mm -hmm. hot jalapeno, mild jalapeno, giant bell, and then some bell peppers. And then chocolate beauty i'm so glad these came up i didn't do a lot a lot a lot of like special plants or whatever this year because i'm really focused on growing food like just just food just all the food i can and not focusing on colors or anything like that so I didn't do a lot of like colored plants, but I did do some purple broccoli and I, I am gonna plant some purple potted beans and that's about it. But now let's look at the grow tower, which really did good this week. So this kale is really busting out and I figured out this is not dinosaur kale, this is red Russian kale. Um, I don't know why I thought it was dinosaur. I did plant some dinosaur kale, but this is not it. So these are the peas, and they are gonna start producing soon, I think. Um, are you gonna plant them in the garden? No, these are all staying in the greenhouse. Oh. And then we've got more kale, more kale, more kale, more kale, more kale, more kale. Lettuce, spinach, lettuce, carrots. <laughs> more kale and peas. And then we've got spinach up here and spinach and more kale, more kale and spinach. And that is it for the greenhouse. I'm gonna show you a couple areas on the farm that are producing really well for us right now. And then show you some things that I did this last week. And then we'll talk about my plans for this week. Okay, Lily, you wanna show off this garden? What's growing in here? Kale. I think in the way back there's cabbage. That's lettuce. lettuce okay. And this is more lettuce. Mm-hmm. Oh, strawberries. Yeah, and there's nine strawberry plants in there. And have we eaten any salads out of the garden? Yes, we have. Which is your favorite leaf? Kale? Yes. Same as me. I love kale. It's so good. All right, so like Lily said, we've got Swiss chard, kale, spinach, and lettuces in the back over there. And in the background, you can see the blueberries. They're sprouting already. So the blueberries are coming in. You can see the little tiny baby blueberries in there. Oh, look at this. There's some sprouts over here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Beer sprouts. sprouts. We're going to have tons of strawberries. Tons of what? Blueberries. Blueberries. Oh, those are blueberries. <laughs> but we also are going to have strawberries. Okay, so going down the line, there's another, there's a row of spinach, a row of Swiss chard, and that, it looks like half of the row got dug up by the cats. And then we've got kale, some more of this red Russian kale, and 
kale, 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 <laughs> kale, 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 lettuce, and there's a blackberry bush. Spinach. <laughs> lettuce. There's spinach right here. Spinach and a weed. Let's get rid of that weed. More spinach, and then the strawberries. They're doing so good. I see a strawberry over there, actually. Oh, there's also one right here, and it oh, looks yummy. ready. It looks ready. That one looks ready. And then we've got the two rows of zucchini. So that's all that is growing right now, except in the main garden. There's still some tomato plants and uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and um, that garden has to be finished this week so I can start planting tomatoes. And then some other things have to be done. Lots of things have to be done. <laughs> um, so let's talk about my plans for this week. I have got to get the pepper garden finished and ready to put peppers in and um, pretty much all the plants that are in the greenhouse, pretty much all the plants that are in the greenhouse um, have to be put in the ground this week. So this, um, this garden behind me is one of the food forests in the front yard and um, I have one more food forest that has to be um, fenced in and I have to put um, paper down and wood chips and then I have to make three raised beds for in there to put some of the plants that are in the greenhouse so that really has to be done this week and I'm hoping that I have enough the street is really busy today apparently anyway I have a lot of plants in the greenhouse that have to go in that second food forest because this one behind me is full. It's it's done. Um, I've got zucchini in one hoop house and then the salad greens in the other hoop house. And then I've got one bed full of onions and one bed full of carrots and then various plants scattered throughout. And then on the other side, it's actually in front of me, um, I have to do a short fence and fix the pond and put the ducks in here. I have four ducks right now, four, four or five ducks. And they're little ducklings. They're not ready quite yet to come in this place, but they're almost ready. So I've got to get them in this duck pond. It's a mess and the liner needs to be replaced. I bought the liner already a while ago. I just have to install it and get everything ready for the ducks. So this is the duck pond that I'm talking about and the liner is ripped in many places but here specifically you can see it. I think a dog got in there, one of our dogs, and ripped it up. Anyways, so the rocks have to be pulled up and the liner has to be replaced and then I have to put the rocks back and get the pump going. So this place with these four mulberry trees, this is actually the other food forest I'm talking about and I need to get three raised beds put in here and fence it off so my dog doesn't get in and eat up all my vegetable seedlings. There's actually sprouts over here. Yep, there are. There yeah. are little mulberries. We're gonna have lots of mulberries. Are, are these all there? mulberries? Yep. Okay, so I took up the row cover to show you guys what's going on underneath. First of all, the I need to weed. This is really bad. Um, but the they're probably coming to our house. The broccoli that is outside of the thing is doing really good. Almost as good as what's under the cover. But um, all of this is broccoli and then it goes on to cauliflower and then Brussels sprouts. So we have You know a couple rows of each and then I have more in the greenhouse that's coming out here this week So and and it's gonna extend out here like these broccolis are And then I've got more broccoli over there Because I'm doing it in a pattern anyways That's what's going on in here
I wanted to show you guys this. These are the tomato plants that I planted before. Uh, there, are there were there were some frosts, but they're hanging on to life, and they've actually started to sprout more leaves. So I am not giving up on these plants. There's six plants. This was just a test. I love doing tests and experiments, and this was a big one this year to just see what would happen if I planted them in the ground before the frost. So these are new leaves. These happened after two frosts. These are obviously damaged and I'm probably going to just cut them off so that the plant can focus on the healthy leaves and fruit. Well, thank you guys for coming along with us today and watching this greenhouse tour and kind of a tour around the gardens. If you guys liked this greenhouse tour, please like the video and feel free to subscribe if you want to see content from us in the future. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video.